Hello everybody, welcome to JC Let's Play. My name is Jonathan Cook and this video is an unboxing of the Final Fantasy X slash X2 HD Remaster Collector's Edition. Before I get into that, however, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update as to what's been going on, what's coming up. Uh, as many of you may know, my last video was a Titanfall kind of spoof video where I posted and said, hey, I'm going to play this and the servers were down. Um, I had every intention of putting more, con more Titanfall content up. However, I recorded about four hours worth of gameplay footage and it came out looking like it was shot on a 1992 camcorder. Um, it, the quality was horrible. I don't know what happened, uh, but that's what happened. And so I went to go re-record the footage a couple days later, get everything rolling again, and my game wouldn't launch. Um, I submitted a ticket to see if it was something, an issue there. The only response I got back was, well, uninstall, re-download, and reinstall. And at the time, I just didn't have the energy to want to do that again, because um, I'm not a huge fan of the Origin launcher system anyway and so I ended up just scrapping it so I do apologize for that apologize for anyone's hopes I got up um, I will try to do better next time um, in the future however we obviously I mean I've got this unboxing video I'm doing right now we also have uh, so possibly of gameplay of that let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some Final Fantasy 10 or 10 2 HD remaster gameplay um, but I've also pre-purchased Infamous Second Son on the PSN store, uh, so I will be playing that starting Friday, and we'll be doing probably a Let's Play of that. That will probably be the next series that I focus on. Um, Watch Dogs coming up May 27th. We finally have a new release date for that, and so I have since canceled my PC pre-order and have moved to a PS4 pre-order because I have my PS4 now, and... Uh, so yeah, that should be good. I've also got a Destiny pre-order for this September, so we'll probably be featuring some gameplay of that and whatever I pick up along the way. As always, if there are any games you would like to see me feature, um, new, old, upcoming, leave me a comment. Let me know, and I'll keep my eyes out. Um, I've currently got a Gamefly account, so I can pick up any game from you know 360, PS3, PS4 through that. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see anything. Other than that... Don't have a whole lot for you guys right now, so we're just going to get into the unboxing. So give me a minute to get the camera switched around, and we will do that. All right, everybody, and here we have it, this nice brown box shipped via the Square Enix store. Uh, so that was the only place you could get the Final Fantasy X, X-2 Collector's Edition. Um, was exclusively through their store. And uh, I just want to say I got this package at 9.03 this morning. I'm going to pull out my iPhone right now so you can see it is now 6.22 p.m. and I'm finally unboxing this. This arrived in my office at 9.03 this morning. Uh, so, been quite a few hours that this has just kind of been waiting. Um, but I decided to come home, eat some dinner, and take care of this. So I'm just going to kind of bust into it and carefully cut the tape here. Put my knife off to the side in case we need that here. We've got my uh, Digital River receipt. And that is it. We'll move the box out of the way. Uh, we've got the back cover there. And I'll flip that around. You can see the front cover. Um, this is the same basic cover sleeve that they received uh, in the Japanese copy of the game. Uh, was asked for by the fans. I'm just going to get the plastic wrap off of it here. Oops, see if I don't break it before then. Move some of this stuff off the table. And so again we see that cover here. I'm just going to slide that off and give you a quick look at the artwork. As well as the back cover with information on, I believe, both games. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Uh, two of the most celebrated RPGs of the gen their generation, now in beautiful high definition. Over 200 hours of gameplay, including the international version content never before released in no North America. Relive the fateful journey with, fa with fully remastered HD visuals and rearranged music. Um, and so the, the collector's edition comes with a full-size art book, packaging 
or full size art book packaging featuring 40 pages of imagery from the world, wonderful, or, ah, beautiful world of Spira, visual soundtrack over six hours of music set to the game's most memorable moment, moments on Blu ray disc, and five lithographs of iconic artwork and characters. So, again, there's the back cover of that. Sadly, it doesn't all fit into frame, unless I were to bring it back a bit, I guess. Um, we're just going to set that there and get into it. So, here we have this gorgeous cover artwork that wraps around uh, featuring, I mean, it's just artwork for both of the games. The front cover being um, that dance that Yuna, Yuna does, I believe it's in Killika Village after the attack by Sin uh, there on the water. It's the first time that uh, Titus really sees the dance. And then in the back we have the three heroines from uh, Final Fantasy X-2, uh, Riku, Yuna, and Pain. Um, so let's just kind of get into it, and I'm actually going to flip it this way so you guys can see it better than I can, and we'll open it, and everything is contained in the book, the game, the artwork, and the lithographs. So I'm going to start with the lith lithographs, and just slide those out here. Uh, we've got a original soundtrack kind of pamphlet thing here with uh, all the track titles, and I believe I saw instructions on the back end. Yes, instructions. So we'll set that there. But we have our five lithographs. Uh, the first one of Titus and Yuna. And I'm actually going to rotate this one because it's a it's one of those dealies. So very, very nice there. Um, we also have another of Titus and Yuna. Titus, Titus, however it's pronounced, I don't know. Um, but there, I believe that's at the moon flow when... Uh, they experience that. So very, very beautiful looking. Or that's in the, uh, oh, just outside of Guado Salam. I cannot remember. Um, another of Titus and Yuna, this time with uh, Yuna in the Final Fantasy X-2 uh, gunner outfit. Um, you don't really see Titus's face, but it's behind Yuna's head there. So um, another of Titus, it's kind of an iconic image. Um, I can remember seeing that quite a bit in the promotional material. Him with, I believe that's the Brotherhood Sword. I cannot remember off the top of my head. It's been years since I played the game. And then um, an image of Yuna from... This was actually an image on the Final Fantasy X-2 promotional posta, poster. Posta, poster. Um, I remember I actually had that poster. It had all, all three. Um, and I, I remember this image quite clearly. So those are the five art lithographs. We're going to place those over there as well. I'm um, just going to kind of glance through... Seems to have a red mark on one of the pages. Um, and we've got, you know, the full art book. Uh, looks like we've got a bit of, for of a forward here, so I'll read that real quick. Uh, when Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X-2 first released, they were praised for many technical achievements, including beautiful art design and among the highest quality of graphics of any modern video game, which I can remember. Uh, it's, I can remember being in a college dorm room, launching the game for the first time, and talking with a friend who was astounded at the detail of the game. Um, over a decade later, it has been an honor to revisit the world of Spira. This universe is, that is so deeply embedded in our hearts and memories once started as just imagination lovingly put to paper. From my heart to yours, I thank you for your endless devotion and, and hope that you cherish the art within these pages as much as I do. This is our gift to you, the fans, without which Final Fantasy X slash X-2 HD remaster would never have been, been possible. May your journey be a memorable one, and praise be to Yevon. Yashinori Kitasi, producer. Um, so just kind of a forward there. And so I'll, there is a full art spread of that Yuna dance again. I'm trying not to break the binding here. So Oh, and we have something that fell out with a coat on it. Um, so do you see that there? I'm just going to tuck this over here. Luckily, I'll be redeeming that code before this video goes up. Um, we then have, again, that cover image with Yuna. Um, kind of surprised me that wasn't one of the lithograph images. but um, and I, I'm just going to kind of flip through a few of these pages. I'll have it face you guys. Um, Orin, Riku, all of that. Looks like the Besaid Orox here. Uh, Lulu and Yuna. Kimari and Yuna. I'll just kind of jump ahead. Got some nice images here. Uh, looks like of the um, faiths, actually. This top image, it says this is the statue of the Shiva faith. So you've got the Shiva faith, Ifrit, 
Uh, this one, could that be, almost looks like what Seymour turns into, but I'm not sure. Um, a few more images, we'll jump again into some of the 10-2 stuff. Uh, I cannot remember their names, but the two my mystery characters throughout most of 10-2, Pain, Yuna, Riku, and then that is Nuge. I'm not going to remember, oh, Barrelai, and I'm not going to remember the third member's name, uh, but they play an integral role in the game as well. Uh, some more concept art there. So, uh, definitely going to spend some time in this book. Very interesting. This last page is just kind of a hardcover. And then in the back we have the discs. Um, the game discs here, PS3 game disc, Blu-ray. Um, it's nice to have you know both games on a single disc. And then uh, the Blu-ray for the soundtrack here. Um, uh, so not a expansive uh, collector's edition. I'm just going to look at this. Okay, so this is a registration card with my serial code. And this is just the typical table of contents warning thing to see. Um, so, I mean, not a hugely expansive one, but uh, definite, you know, collector's edition, especially for fans of the series. Um, when this game first released, it wasn't really, it was kind of before the collector's edition craze started. And sorry, I'm just going to try to arrange these a bit so that way you can kind of get a glimpse of them. Um, I mean, there were collector's editions. I can remember, you know, a lot of PC games had the Gold editions were released, um, but this this game was really released before the collector's edition craze started. Um, so it's kind of nice to have this, and I'm kind of glad it wasn't overburdened with a ton of things. I mean, the lithographs are gorgeous. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy the CD soundtrack. When looking through the um, contents, if I go into this, we're looking on that Blu-ray, uh, we're looking at 104 tracks between the two games. Um, so, I mean, just a massive amount of content. But um, still, good to see it all, all the, all the same. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know again if you'd like to see some gameplay uh, of the HD remaster of Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X II. Be happy to feature that, um, and expect to see uh, infamous Second Son content starting this weekend. Um, and yeah, in the meantime, my name is Jonathan Cook. This is JC Let's Play, and I hope that you guys take care and peace out.